What the Tech is sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. Visit epb.com to find the speed you need on Chattanooga's only network, delivering 25 gig speeds. In the age of smartphones, would you believe old phones are still in use by nearly 100 million of us in the U.S.? There are millions more old landline phones that are not being used. If you're feeling nostalgic for the 70s and the 80s, our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker has found a fun way to give old phones new life. If you're of a certain age, maybe a little over 40, you may have grown up with a phone like this in the house. If you're even older, you may have had a phone like this. These old phones still work even if you don't pay for landline service because of little gadgets like this. This one's called Cell 2 Jack. Here's how it works. The Cell 2 Jack is about the size of a deck of cards. It has jacks for the older phone, a power cable, and a charging port for the smartphone. Now, the idea is to connect the smartphone to the old phone through the Cell 2 Jack, which is basically a Bluetooth receiver. Connect your phone to the old phone by pressing the hashtag or pound sign twice. And then once it's connected, the old phone will ring when someone calls your smartphone number, like this. Pretty cool if you've been missing bells ringing when someone calls. You can also place calls using the old phone. You even hear a dial tone. The problem with using an older rotary dial phone is that there's no hashtag or pound button, but hanging up the receiver twice serves as hitting pound. Now it only works with older phones with one of these connections. Super old phones that connect by copper wires have these plugs. They don't work. If you want to ditch your landline phone but still want to talk on multiple handsets, Cell 2 Jack is a solution. The smartphone has to be close enough to the Cell 2 Jack to get the Bluetooth signal, but if you have a portable battery, you can use an old phone anywhere in the park, a coffee shop, or in the passenger seat of a car. You get some looks this way. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.